Hello everyone, today is Tuesday and that makes today Reviews Day Tuesday and it is still October so it is still Booktober and if I had an intro it would roll right now so let's just pretend there is one. Anyways, recently I finished reading a book called Notes from the Internet Apocalypse which is written by Wayne Gladstone. I found out about this book because a friend of mine was reading it and he summarized a little bit of it and I was like, oh, I should read this. So I decided to read it and I picked it up. And I also noticed that Wayne Gladstone writes for Cracked.com just like David Wong and hey, let's give another Cracked.com a writer because David Wong's stuff is amazing. He wrote John Dies at the End, by the way. Anyways, this is the first book I've ever read by Wayne Gladstone. Essentially, this book is about a character whose name is Gladstone. Wonder if he has any relation to Wayne Gladstone. We're just gonna keep going and ignore that point. And essentially, the internet goes down and does not come back up. And the book is written in a style as like a daily journal kind of thing. And I really like that aspect of it. It was interesting to read how the author envisioned a world without internet would function because some of the points that he did make and how he did describe things are things that I would see coming true. The whole book captured most of the internet communities very well, like Reddit and Tumblr and dig and other websites like that. However, the author did not capture the YouTube community very well. He described it as people that would just go around and watching cat videos and whatnot. And while you and me, we both know the YouTube community is more than that. It's a community that sticks together and a community that will call out sexual abusers like Sam Pepper and Alex Day and so many more. I really felt the author could have done better if he had researched a little bit more into the YouTube community, but oh well. As the story goes on, Gladstone takes it upon himself to go out and find the internet. There's a lot of rumors of why the internet goes down. Here's where I would share an example of it, but I'm not going to because, spoilers! Society slowly starts adapting to living without internet, and it's interesting to read that because, for example, the fact that there's no Google makes it very difficult to sell like disputes of what actor was in what movie and so on and so forth. What actually ends up happening is the Library of Congress, which I believe is actually like the biggest library in the United States. I don't actually know that. I believe the story takes place in New York. I just, I know it's somewhere in the United States, but that's besides the point. Anyways, so the Library of Congress ends up hiring many, many extra librarians with the sole task of looking up information. So the way that it works now is if you have a question, it could be like, what actor starred in what movie? You can fax that question to the Library of Congress and within 24 hours, they will have a response for you for the minimal fee of $1 which is really interesting because the Library of Congress has now essentially become Google, which is pretty cool. But yeah, that's all I want to say about the story. I would definitely summarize this book as the author's comment about today's society and its heavy reliance on the internet, as well as a book about looking for things and solving things. Overall, I found the book to kind of just be meh. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, so amazing or anything like that. It was just okay. Like the story was interesting and the ending was really great, but overall it was just, eh, it kind of was like, eh, it could have been better, but whatever. Have you heard of this book? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have a suggestion for another book that I should read, let me know below as well. And that pretty much sums up this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you on Monday and on Tuesday with new videos. Don't forget to have an epically awesome day. Bye.